I believe that every leader has a right to implement his own policy. But when I see things that are done that are not right, abuse of power, wrong approaches, wrong strategies, making use of foreign consultants, including those discarded by other countries, I feel that I have to have my say. If you want to be honest with yourself, you have to take criticism, even if you attract adverse comments from others. I don't care much whether people remember me or not. If people remember, well and good. If they don't remember, it's all right. I'm dead anyway. Justice is the most important thing. In a plural society like Malaysia, you cannot have two laws. One law for the Muslim. One law for the non-Muslim. Money is not something you just print. It must be backed by something, either good economy or gold. Independence means we enjoy freedom. We are not colonized by people. And we can govern our own country and develop it independently so that our people can live a better life. Australia is not a safe place. Not many dictators announce their resignation, but I did because I didn't want to stay on and overstay my welcome. When you have a prime minister who is corrupt, then you can be sure that a country cannot be anything else but corrupt. In Malaysia, Trials have always been fair. As a doctor, you are out on call most nights, so you don't get continuous sleep, and that becomes something that is familiar to you. So, working hard doesn't bother me. When you are in the government, you have to demonize your opposition. I don't believe that you should punish the people of Iraq because you don't like their leader. Saddam Hussein is not being punished. He's fat, and he is eating enough food and living in palaces. But his people are punished by denying them food and medicine. Being a medical practitioner enables me to get in touch with people, understand their problems, feel sympathetic towards them, and the natural thing is to want to help them. And if you become a politician and if you are successful, you can help them even more. The little Napoleons in UMNO try to keep out people who are more intelligent than themselves. I cannot accept this country being destroyed by selfish people who only think about themselves. Free press is not absolute. In this country, we say clearly if you start stirring up racial hatred, then we will put a stop to it. We might even close down your paper, because these things can only lead to a lot of riots and bloodshed. In Asia, 
we live within our means. So when we are poor, we live as poor people. I think that is a lesson that Europe can learn from Asia. The West only talks about how you can militarily defeat the terrorists, but terrorists are very difficult to defeat because they can appear anywhere. Corruption is found everywhere. I admit there is some corruption in my staff, not me. All leaders must have some power. Without power, you can't be a leader. There's no point in treating a currency like a commodity, devaluing it artificially and causing a lot of poverty among poor countries. It is not true at all that a free market will ensure a democracy. It doesn't. There must be a balance between a free market and some regulations which are essential in order to safeguard the interests of consumers and of people in general. Big corporations don't just belong to one person or two persons but to a whole nation. If you let big corporations fail, then a lot of people are going to suffer. A country without engineering skill and knowledge will never become a developed country. Planning means looking ahead. 